This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Tired of missing out on figures or paying scalper prices at toy stores? Then go ahead and visit DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. You can get 10% on anything Transformers, accumulate points, and sometimes score an exclusive figure you thought you'd miss forever. Head over to DJC Collectibles and start saving today. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with the part 6 of the Jinbao uh, Deformation Oversize Predaking. And my little one is with me and he's gonna make funny faces the whole time and not being serious and not helping at all. But he wants it to be he wants to be inside. So this is the huge sword that you've seen in the short, and it's like it's way too big for the, you know, figure. I actually took a picture with him, which I'll show here. And then as you can see, it's made for a full size six year old, you know? So we're gonna put it on the side here. You have the gun, which I also did a short to assemble it. So, you know, it works. It's, it's too heavy for the arms probably, but we'll see. And then you have uh, all the pieces and I have no idea how this is going to go but we're just gonna go and dive in and see what it does Predacons, unite! Tordadron, face Predaking! So first I just want to make sure that the connections are okay it looks good okay so you have tantrum and hardhead and you have the connections here and you have holes behind the head here which you've seen me do in my reviews and it was super hard to do so let's hmm let's push push that in and it's a hard it's weird weird angle the head is actually in the way a little bit Huh. It's gonna be tricky. Let's try this one here. Same problem, eh? All right, I might be missing something from the instructions. So, all right, let's look at the instructions. All right, the only thing I can see in the instructions is to move the joint a little tilted back and I do not like that. I would really like if I could get these in without a problem. And it's really just a push mechanic. Ah, there you go. Yeah. Can I move this now? Nope. Okay, it stands. Okay. So we have. Yeah, but now he's leaning back. It's not good. All right, let's see if I can replace the joints forward but the heads are in the way this is never going to stand like this Ah, uh, okay. I was able to do this one. Oh, and this one. Alright. So now, he's still leaning forward. So, I'm gonna move this. So, that's the skirt in front. Oh, God. This is so loose. And... Everything's moving out of place now. Mm. 
Okay. Uh, he's that hand. Uh, yep. I just don't know if it's going to hold. <laughs> no, 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 Satsi. Alright. Oh man, you really have to push it to break it. Alright, so let's. And see, that's my problem with the legs, right? You remember Razor Claw? I said it was gonna be too loose, and now I feel like it's too loose. Hold on, so, see, it went back in. I'm gonna have to lean him back on the wall, if I, or put the arms forward. That's stable enough, all right. So, uh, you put the connector out here. This is not going to be easy. All right, so this, I'm trying to find a place to put my finger so that it doesn't, uh, I don't move everything. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, it works. It's stable enough, all right. Wow. Oh, it stands. How does it look from up front? We'll see you later. Okay. The sword is bigger than him. How is this practical? It's not. All right, so I guess, and, and I'm not gonna even, I'm not even gonna try to put the sword in the hand because I know it's not gonna hold it. Unless, whoa, by a miracle. No, it's too loose. It's not even holding the arm itself. So, you have the head right here from, uh, Rampage. This is a so basically I'm gonna use this like in the picture and He's holding it. It's even it's too big. How in the picture did they do that? Because in the picture he's holding it like here You know and he's like standing on it. This is way too big. I Actually, I'm gonna put two nails in the wall and I'm gonna put it in the back. No way I can do this. And what about the gun? Well, the gun you can't put in the hand. Can you? No, there's no joint for the gun. And there's no, well, there's a fork here. There we go, that's the gun. So what don't be? This way. All right. All right, so let's move the camera a little bit forward. Damn it, could you? What the? I said get closer and he hugs me. All right, so, oh man, he's all unplugged and I can see a bit of a problem everywhere. That's funny, funny guy. He's laughing his ass off right now. All right, so there's no good way to display it with the gun so and or the sword. So we're gonna forget that part, but he looks real good. And now, I'm gonna ask my son to hold it. Tiens les jambes ensemble, sit, mette tes... T'es-tu où le sous-le-pou, là? Oui, oui, fais-je la tenir ici. OK? I'm gonna do handheld shots. Fais juste la tenir. You don't suffer from overconfidence or anything. OK, so, you have... If you look from up here, you can see both heads, so that's terrible. But if you look from up here, you down. So I'll clean that up for the shell shelf. So you have, you know, the robot part, you have Rampage head right here, so that's a bit annoying. And then you have all the details for Predaking. So easy assembly, 
stressful thing. Now he let it go. Va pas trop loin. So it looks good enough. So here's his five. five yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, you want to play around? Okay. So there you go. He's laughing now. So that's Predator King, and I'm gonna have a hard time putting this in uh, the uh, on the shelf. And then, but the you know the wings are really beautiful, all the details. So that's it, guys. Sorry, this wasn't better, but I don't have a good setup for Titans or combiners. So we're gonna see uh, what it does on the shelf, and maybe I'll snap a picture and you know post it on Facebook or something. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.